of students is helping a little girl get around a little easier. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Nikki Dementri tells us about the girl's condition and the help she's getting. In the South Towns, it's kids helping kids, frontier school kids to be exact. We kind of adapted the, the name Go Baby Go Pit Crew, Operation Gilly May. Let's tickle Gilly. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Two-year-old Gilly May lives with Angel Man Syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that impacts her motor development, speech, and triggers seizures. My husband and I always say that, you know, we were chosen to be her parents and Gilly was chosen to, you know, to be Gilly. We're building a power wheel for her so she can move around more because she can't use it right out of the box. The six man crew consists of three big tree fifth graders. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I got to sign up. And three frontier central high schoolers. We jumped at the opportunity. I'm really happy that I get to help this little girl. Over 10 weeks, the team alongside two art teachers will work to adapt a set of wheels for Gilly. Tuesday was the first time the pit crew met their driver. Full house in here. Hi guys. They've been working on customizing Gilly's ride since the fall when the nonprofit Go Baby Go in partnership with Fisher Price donated the red jeep. You can make all this, all these plans and designs, but now there's a face, and that just, that just makes it all more meaningful. On Wednesday, the team heads to Fisher Price in East Aurora to meet with the pros, present their designs, and learn how to rewire the car to fit Gilly's needs. Just to see her enjoy something so simple, but means so much to us. The team hopes to give Gilly her new set of wheels in April. When she can actually drive it on her own and seeing the excitement that she has, that will be everything. Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.